I've been waiting for this one for a while. Got some Taco Bell mild sauce. Very delicious. What is good, YouTube Killer Rockstar Nation, the nations of all holy nation? Well, I don't think this is a very holy nation. I'm not. I'm not going to elaborate on that. Anyways, YouTube, today is a very sought after video, a video I have been waiting for for a while. Today is a special day. Today is a day. We finally got the one scent that I had been waiting for. Tom Ford Costa Azura. Tom Ford. Your boy got your boy got it. You know, it all started from a little sample when I bought Blue Chanel. Now when I got Blue Chanel, I saw this Tom Ford. I was like, what is this? I was like, this is interesting. And it was a scent that I sprayed for the first time, and I just knew from the beginning I needed this scent. So, walked into my Macy's, uh, local Macy's, down by Wheaton Mall, Westfield Wheaton Mall. You know, they were trying to scam me for some Hugo colognes. I'm not paying that. <clears throat> I'm not paying 100 bucks for some Hugo colognes. But I can tell you what I am paying over $100 for. Some Costa Azura by Tom Ford. So, we finally got Tom Ford Costa Azura. So, this is an unboxing. This is a whole in-depth review. So, as you can see, the box is just a simple white box. So, this is the uh, 1.7 ounce, the 50 mLs. So, I didn't get the 3 mLs. So I got the 50 mLs, but A, I mean... This is a cologne that I don't really want to use every day, um, cause I don't know, I, I don't know, um, I just feel like I could, it's enough for me. Anyways, um, so here it is, the first unboxing, this actually, I, this is the one cologne I did wait for, and there's another cologne I will wait for, oh, hold, and that is, Um, Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus is the only other cologne that I will wait for the whole day, no matter how long it takes for me to unbox it. So, it's the first unboxing. So, as you can see, the box is very simple. Just a white box. You know, it's just Tom Ford, Costa Zero. And this is part of their new, um, like, line. I think they had a private line, which they did discontinue. Um, I wasn't in, I wasn't buying fragrances at that time. This is, like, probably around 2018. I was definitely more in the shoe game. So, but anywho, we ha we have Casa Zura. So this is our first unboxing. So as you can see, very nice, very nice, very quality feeling box. Give it that. Oh, there you go. Smells like pepper. This box is very nice, very nice, luxurious feeling box. You know, I mean, if I'm buying Tom Ford, I want to feel like I'm buying something luxurious. So, put that aside. So, here's the bottle. Very beautiful, luxurious looking bottle, as you can see right there. Tom Ford Costa Azura. The liquid is orange, just yellow. This is like, you know, when you've been running all day and field day and you forgot to drink your water, you know, and you piss. Anywho. Before we smell this, which I have smelled this, which is the really messed up part, but you know, if I never smelled it, I would have never bought it. So give it that. But we're gonna go down the note breakdown. So first off, Custo Azura by Tom Ford is a aromatic aquatic fragrance for women and men. So this is a unisex fragrance. So ladies, if you got if you ladies smell this on me, if y'all like it, you guys can use this too. I highly doubt any ladies will smell this off of me. That's cool. Um, it was launched in 2021. So I, I'm, I'm assuming this specific version was launched in 2021. 
Um, and the top notes are driftwood, seaweed, argawood, or oud, um, cardamom, uh, ambret, and celery seeds. The middle notes are lemon, cypress, yellow mandarin, lavender, myrtle, and art artemisia. I don't even know how to say that. Base notes are oak, incense, vetiver, olbanum, mastic, or lentisk, and vanilla. And vanilla. So, very interesting note breakdown. A lot of stuff. That's what I really do like about. I am starting to realize a lot more that I, in a sense, damn, dude, my pollen allergies really triggered up today. So, my eyes are looking a little bit funny. But... I'm going to be honest, I'm starting to admire a lot more of these stronger, you know, fragrances with a lot more ingredients. So, we're going to smell this today. Um, so, very nice. So, like I said, it's a very small bottle. And we're just going to spray, like, two sprays because this is very valuable stuff to me. So, so. all right, there you go. So, already, I like that. I enjoy the smell. It's a very delicious smell. So, put that back. Leave that right there. Make it all nice and stuff. So, let's smell this. <sighs> yeah. I might have to go buy another one of these. This is too good. It's a very good fragrance. So I don't really get a lot of the aquaticness that is supposed to be there. But I do enjoy the the the, the woody kind of notes that there are included in the fragrance. So I guess this is a very good fragrance. Um it's very unique and I will hold this deer in my collection. So where do I rank this in my collection? To be honest, I'm how going to have to give this a nine. This is really good. Um it's almost blue to Chanel good. Um so like I said, I mean blue to Chanel and this are very two different spectrums of fragrances. So like I said, this is very it smells like it could be good in the summer. It also smells kind of heavy as well, so I wouldn't really recommend in the day or when it's really hot, maybe like a night kind of fragrance. Would it smell good? Um, if I'm being honest, I would wear this anytime because it is really good. So uh, this is a very quick review, you know, just straight to the point. Costa Azura. I have smelt this. It's not a new smell to me, but, you know, I had to show the review. So there it is. Do I recommend this fragrance? Yes, I definitely do if your nose can handle it because a lot of people that have smelt this do not enjoy how strong this fragrance is. But I can handle it because for some reason my nose can just tolerate a bunch of fragrances. So, very nice buy. I do recommend it. So, anyways, YouTube, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Like and subscribe to join the Killer Rockstar Nation. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Huh? Today is Wednesday again. What are we doing today in this video? Well, just know when the spidey skeezy's on, it gets real. Let's go. Two oh five, two fifty on the bar. Let's run it up. Yo, we found that. Jeez, in the gym, fuck it up.